Biologically Inspired Robotics as a platform for cognitive research an interdisciplinary project from King's College London with supervision and financial support from the departments of Neuroscience Mechanical Engineering Mathematics and psychology and presenting Theo 3 Experiment 1 Obstacle Avoidance This is the pentagonal arena that comprises Theo's task environment for the first experiment. Mounted above the arena is the tracking camera that will record the robot's movements. Here the robot is seen experiencing collisions and responding with random movements. The robot's early responses may result in imbalances in the obstacle avoidance synaptic profile. This can cause the robot to spin. This behavior is later corrected by further collisions. On PC2, the red arrow indicates a collision switch about to become active. Above this are the amplitudes of the infrared proximity sensors. On PC1, we see the collision avoidance synaptic profile. The red arrow indicates weight change due to a collision. Theo demonstrates good obstacle avoidance after an average of 84 minor collisions. The purpose of this experiment is to demonstrate the transition from reflexive behavior to adaptive behavior via interaction. The behavior takes just over half an hour to develop. This is the video of the robot's progress recorded by the EthoVision tracking camera. Experiment 2 Light Seeking This is the decagonal arena that comprises Theo's task environment for the second experiment. Theo is encountering the area of higher light intensity in the center of the arena but shows no indication of any behavioral response. After learning, the robot shows an affinity for light and is proficient at finding the light zone. Although once in the zone, it does not stay there.
This behavior develops over about half an hour. The tracking video shows the robot making a turn within the light zone. On PC2 we can see a photovoltaic array is active, represented in green. And above that the corresponding photosensor values. The battery level indicator is also visible. One of the reasons for this experiment is to create a second behavior. In experiment 3, the robot demonstrates discrimination by choosing between the two behaviors. On PC3 we see the light-seeking synaptic profile. Experiment 3 